Okay, welcome back. Sorry for the uh, restart issue. Are we streaming okay? I think we are. I'll just kill that. Okay, welcome back. So here we have Quake Champions. Um, as you can see there on the bottom of the screen here, this is still an early access game. This is the Steam version. You can also get it via uh, Bethesda.net's own launcher. I'm not sure what the benefit of one over the other is, but since I prefer to have my collection in as few places as possible, which seems to be getting more and more difficult nowadays, I have opted for the Steam version. Now, Quake Champions is a free-to-play game, except it's not free-to-play. So, how does that work? So, how it works is that if you go with the free-to-play option, uh, you, you can, of course, free of charge. There is no release date for this yet, but free of charge, you can download and start playing the game. You will have one hero, and you can see him here. It's the Ranger. To unlock any of the other champions that we have here, you will need to earn um, favor. I believe it is favor. You need to earn, let's say it like this, you need to earn an in-game currency that will allow you to rent that character for a certain amount of time. Now, that's not going to be hugely appealing to a lot of people because I guess like a lot of other people, you like to own your own progress and own the end result of it, not really kind of rent a character for a little while. But there is some kind of logic to this. So in the free-to-play model, you can rent the character that you want. Um, there's there's no way to permanently unlock them. That's just not possible. But what you can do is, if you decide you really like a character, is you can use Platinum, the game's in-game currency, which is purchased with real cash. This is not something you can earn uh, just by playing the game. You need to buy this with real money. And then you can go ahead and unlock one of the characters that you want. Um, so before we start burning pitchforks the other option is to pay for the champions edition for currently 30 euro um, which will actually give you access to all current and future champions it'll also give you a couple of loot boxes uh it's actually three loot boxes out of my three loot boxes they were high-end loot boxes i got let me just show you they were relic loot boxes so actually i got three relic loot boxes out of the three I opened, I did get two legendaries and all the rest were, as it suggests here, high-end, which is really great. Um, so for 30 euro, you get access to all current and future champions, which is fine because sometimes people want to own everything, have everything. And for me, this is Quake. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. This is Quake. If for 30 euro I can get access to all current and future champions and everything that the game has to offer, I will happily pay that. Now, that's me. I can do that. That's great. But let's look at the free-to-play model, which some people are saying is not really free-to-play, but it's kind of like, if you have to pay money, how is that free-to-play? Well, think of it like this. Let's say you get this game free-to-play and you have your ranger character and you're happy with that character. That's it. You don't have to buy anything else. Um, but let's say you decide, I like Ranger, but I also like um, Slash. Working a real a fan of the Slash character. Here. I let her finish her preamble. A real fan of the Slash character. Let's say Slash is unlocked for two, three, four, probably maximum of, you know, maybe five bucks. That means that you have gotten a game that you really enjoy playing for five bucks. What they have done is presented you with the choice of what you want to buy and when you want to buy it. And I think that's really amazing. I think that's a pretty important point uh, to get across. Now, I did pay for the Champions pack, so I have all of these unlocked. I decided I love Quake. I want a fast arena shooter uh, that I haven't had for some years. So I decided to pay for it. So let's take a quick tour of it and see what it's like in its current state. In its current state, there are some networking issues, um, some rubber banding, some disconnects from games. A lot of people are complaining about it. I haven't experienced it, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. 
So a really good way to see how all of this works is just actually to go into the tutorial and have a look at the first one. Just here, I've already completed it. Best time was 4.10. Probably not going to be, be that this time because I'm going to be showing you guys everything. So let's start the to, start to tutorial and see what it's like. Oh, actually, sorry. I know I got it. I just want to start to show you the ranger character because I know this one somewhat. As you can see, I'm only level two, so this is a very much a first impressions uh, raw view of, of the game. I'm not. I haven't played for hundreds of hours or anything. Also, this is an unsponsored review as well. This is just my own opinions. So the level design is pretty cool. I guess the question we're going to ask over and over, is this Quake? Well, <laughs> look at this loading screen. Look at this level. This is Quake. Looks pretty Quake-like to me. Surrender is not an option. <laughs> okay, here we are in the tutorial. I've got one of my melee weapons out at the moment, which is you start with by default. How satisfying is that? Huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's pick up the first weapon and move to through the tutorial. So it's kind of teaching us um, movement, a fast movement that we're used to. Aim down sights on this machine gun gives you kind of a slower, more controlled method. This is uh, like a master item, gives you more maximum armor than you can normally carry. I'm sorry, actually, this is the item that does that. This one, the other items uh, just gave you armor up to your maximum, as in the bottom left, 35 or 75. This should overcharge or Give me more armor than the 75 that I have. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, so that's giving me 125 uh, armor, which is now counting down. Of course, in a real game, you wouldn't be stopping and sitting around to discuss things. These are portals. Ooh, oh my god. I made it. Okay. Love the level design. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that before. There are chains and stained glass windows and quite a lot of detail in the level. Protection spawned. Okay. I've already found all of them, as you can see in the top right, tokens, flag, six of six, but during the tutorial, don't forget to try and find all of them. I'm not going to tell you where they are. If you just look for them, you'll find that they're not that difficult to find. You get some extra XP if you do that. XP? I'm not sure XP or goodies. So here's weapons training. We're going to get to try all of the weapons that are available, currently available. First one is the heavy machine gun. See, it's color-coded yellow. And here's some yellow balloons. It's going to be important to remember these colors later, which I will not do, I promise you. Yellow, heavy machine gun. Orange, shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen, the shotgun, my current favorite weapon. Orange. Blue. Nail gun. Oh, 
can eliminate balloons and put up some plaster boards without a problem. Try both. Fires three explosive projectiles. And it's not always the most predictable uh, in its aim. Green, dry bolt. Blue, lightning gun. So, so these orbs are kind of showing the time to kill. Um, which you can see is fast. Although every character can tend to have different health too. More armor, more health as well. My one of my other favorite weapons, the rocket launcher. I like to fire it while I'm moving. The amount of people who've killed me because of this weapon. Oh, <laughs> you can see I hit that. That wasn't me. That was the balloon. That was the balloon hacking me. The railgun, another cool weapon. Aiming down sights. Uh, just hip fire. Not too bad, huh? These urns may contain priceless treasures, lore scrolls. Break the pot and grab the treasure. I don't know, I think I found something. This is a quad damage uh, item. Most people will not need to be introduced to it who've played Quake before. Quad damage. The movement is quite uh, quite like. <laughs> okay, now we need to remember what color is what. Rocket launcher. Okay. Ah, oh, you. Uh, we need this guy. Get a lightning gun. Whoops. Okay. The dry thing, whatever it's called. Oh my gosh, Jesus. Actually, kind of fun. See the appeal of Splatoon.
Okay, next section. 225, 6 of 6. Not too bad. So, that one kind of showcased the weapons that you can expect to see. Uh, you'll recognize a lot of those weapons from Quake. And uh, when you go into the game, although the characters do have their own special abilities, those weapons are still the ones that are available. So, we can do a quick, maybe, multiplayer game and check out how that goes. Not, not, not well, based on my skill. Not well. So again, I'm hoping that this is the fast-paced, old-school, frag like it's 1999 arena-based shooter that everybody's been looking for. Because let's face it, there have been lots of them. They've been Toxic, uh, Exonic, uh, Brink. Um, what was the most recent one? Lawbreakers. And they're all trying to do something a little different. Whereas Quake is just trying to be Quake. And there's really a place in my heart and in <laughs> in my busy schedule for uh, a fast-paced arena shooter. That, that That's all it is. I suppose it doesn't have to be too much of a pure Quake experience. Um, the games I mentioned would probably be doing very well if that's all people want to People want a little more, hence why this has been modernized a bit. So it's a it's a uh, team deathmatch. I've never played on this map before, so we'll see how I do. Ah, oh, cool, geeky. Yeah, you can buy the game, but um, remember that it, it it will be free to play eventually, and you can choose the parts of it that you want to buy. So this video will be uploaded later on to YouTube as, as as a kind of guide. So if you hear me addressing people, that's because originally this was a live stream. I'm talking to my friend Geek here, who said she's going to buy the game. Well, you can buy it for sure. I think 30 euro or 25-ish pounds is a great deal for what this is. But it is free to play. Okay, we're up. This is Quake, folks. I am sure you remember it. Dream. Too real to be a nightmare. <laughs> yes, it definitely reminds me of Quake in that I'm dying a lot and not doing. <laughs> Damage. Round begins in three, two, one. Fight to find a slip gate out of this place. Yes, it's definitely quick. Surrender is not an option. <laughs> the time to kill is is taken. super quick. Teams are tied. Just how it should be. And of course, no Eight radar lost. telling you where your enemy is. Find another way home. Found. Tied. Lead 
lost. Oh boy, last place. <laughs> last place. <laughs> this will, will take some getting used to. You see how we've become not dull, but. But, um. Not dull, but, um. Come to not really have to rely on fast reflexes. I mean, if you play Call of Duty and you consider yourself really good, please, please come and try and play this. Because you're about to get your ass whipped. This is not Call of Duty, this is a game that's had been around in one form or another for almost 20 years. This will sort you out. comes from an expert player such as myself, of course. Okay, finally killed someone. But yeah, just saying again, if you <laughs> consider yourself a pro Call of Duty player and you got the fast paced stuff down, please come on over quick. Let me know how you get on. last place <laughs> it's okay it's last place but this is this is quite good I'm having amazing fun I never I, I never promised to skill stupid So the comparisons with Doom's multiplayer are inevitable. I would say the difference is uh, time to kill. Time to kill seems a lot faster. Time to kill and Doom never seemed right to me. Never seemed in a game where it was about fast firing that I would be running behind someone for a few seconds, firing a weapon, and. Um, Waiting for him to die. You know. Never, never, never seemed right to me. Been here this long. Time to kill this seems less quicker. See, not that it seems quicker, it just seems correct and appropriate. Uh, customization? Pretty much the same as Doom. Five minute warning. There are loot boxes. Um, loot box system, I don't have a problem with. Doesn't offer you any advantage. Um, the only thing I would say is that compared to. Um, bugger. So, he beat me. So, um, so let's think about paid versus non paid. So, if you have gone free to play, you'll have the Ranger and whatever else you choose to pay to unlock, or that you choose to rent for a day's time. Now, if you're playing.
Oh yeah, you play in the game like dual. Sorry, not dual. Uh, the, the, the game mode where you need to select a number of characters, a set of characters that you can choose between. Obviously, someone who has a greater choice of characters to choose from may be able to have an advantage, right? Depending on how many characters you've unlocked. Of course. of course, what you could also say is that it just rewards the good players because you don't have to ever buy, uh, buy a character outright if you don't want to. You can rent them. And you rent them with something you earn for playing well. And therefore, if you play well, you can rent more characters. Of course, that tends to push skill ceiling towards the people who can play well. So. Where'd you go? So I'm not so sure I agree with that. That's the only uh, unfair aspect. Potentially unfair. Potentially unfair aspect that I can see. Other than that, this is a game that you can actually get for free and play for free. And what if you like the ranger character? Only? You can actually pay nothing for this game. What if you like the ranger character plus two the others that quarter. maybe you've released at five bucks each? Well, then you can play this game for about ten bucks. I think that's pretty fair. And... Quad spawned. Enemy has the it is tons, absolutely tons of fun. The moment they say they have dedicated servers, you can't choose them. You can't choose them, but you can't see that I am on actual servers if you look down at the bottom of my screen. Um, being able to rent a server, purchase a server, set the rules the way you want it, have a classic mode. That is one of the complaints of this currently, is that it's not classic Quake. But do remember that <laughs> every single time a new Quake was released there was a difference and people, people were, you know, it wasn't their Quake, it wasn't their version of Quake. And Steam does have the refund policy, so two hours more than enough time to try this game. I, I, I will be honest, I love it. And this is from someone who, as you can see, is not that great at it. And by the way, saying that you're not that great at Quake is 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 is, is it, it, to comprehend as a statement. You're saying you're not that great at a game that's been out for 20 years, who people have been playing for 20 years, to all the different versions and iterations, still know what they're doing and have that experience. And you're not that great against somebody who's been doing something for 20 years. You can feel okay about that. You would think it would be the opposite, but it's not. I love it. I fully recommend it. So you can see some people starting to disconnect or having disconnect problems there. You can see Calypso at the top on my team with the red connection icon. This is happening a lot. It ha I will I will preface that by saying I live in a center of a large city. I've got 360 meg down, 36 meg up, and an average 5 millisecond ping rate. And I never have a problem. I literally have never had a problem in the game. 
However, that does not mean that other people are not having problems. Hopefully that's going to be fixed once it comes out of early access. So I'm going to leave this match and show you some of the stuff we earned. Well, I'm going to try and leave this match. How does one leave the match? Nope. Oh, it's waiting for players, I guess once. <laughs> That's kind of weird. We have to wait for enough players before we can quit. Okay, so I actually don't want to join this match because I want to quickly show you some of the uh, cosmetics which again inevitably is another comparison to Doom. Of course the great thing about this is that since Doom and this game are both Bethesda there's going to be potential for crossover because some of the uh, cosmetics, helmets, armor and variations in Doom look really, really great. Let's face it. Ranger reporting. Surrender is not an option. So I'm sorry to quit this game, but I want to show you some other stuff. I hope this is not quitting the whole game. Come on, they're not going to quit the whole game, really? Phew, okay. So I did it in a loot box. Let's open it up and take a look. So you got a backpack. This is where all of your cosmetic items come from. You've got a backpack which will unlock a common item. It's your usual, your, your, your usual system. It'll unlock a common item, maybe rarely a, a high quality item. Chest. You'll receive two items of high quality with an enhanced chance at weapons and player related items. You can unlock better weapons as well. Well, by better weapons, I mean they look better. I'm not sure. I haven't presented any stats on whether they're actually better as uh, a, a, as a form of combat. I, I would doubt they would be because that would tend to unbalance things or push us towards the bad side of uh, loot boxes. Loot boxes should be about um, cosmetics differences and customization, not, not advantages. And the reliquary, reliquary, reliquary <laughs> will you'll receive three items of high quality with an enhanced chance at champion related items. I'll say that the three I got when I purchased the Champions Pack at 30, um, well, as my friend here tells me, 20 pounds sterling on Steam or 30 euro on uh, Steam in Euro, I got two legendaries. So that was pretty good. So let's open this chest and see what we get. So I got a weapon shader, which allows me to basically change the color of the weapon, and I got a torso piece, which was of level epic, which I think is like second from the top. Um, I think we need an internationally agreed standard of loot <laughs> pretty soon. So let's have a look at what this actually means. So we pop up our champions, and we can see that the exclamation mark is over Nyx. 
picking into Nyx. In the shadows, we, we I can, will lie. We can see that the <laughs> customization option has the exclamation mark. And we can see that it's basically outfit and appearance related stuff. So you can select a set for a character. A set is a whole bunch of things. Headgear, torso, legs. We've unlocked one here, which is of a level epic. Then you can get legendary. So she's got two legendaries and an epic. So this is basically second from the top best set. We'll equip it. Now she looks like an intergalactic cheerleader. Honestly, <laughs> it looks pretty awful. I'm kind of a fan of making futuristic people look futuristic. Or futuristic combat people look futuristic combat. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, they're pretty awful. The basic set looks the best to me, which is cool for me, right? Because the basic set looks the best. So let's say you don't want to choose a set. You can pick each part in turn. The standard head. It's the ghost, which I haven't unlocked. You can unlock them here. You can see that this one here costs 300 shards to unlock. And the top head costs 1,200. Currently, I have 250. So you just get shards from playing the game, or also melting, or burning down, or exchanging, however you want to say it, equipment that you already own, or duplicates can be exchanged for shards as well. Pretty standard system. Shards is used, as it says here, to craft new outfits and weapons. It's obtained by dismantling armor pieces and weapons you already own. Favor is earned by playing well and completing challenges. There are challenges you can complete. And Platinum is purchased with real world money, however they want to say it there. That's how it's done. So, let's say we're not going to go with the set headgear. We only have the standard head. Torso. We actually have an epic torso unlocked. So we can equip it legs, vanity, and get wings, so let's have a look at a different champion, who I have more unlocks for, which would be the ranger, weapons, you can choose your starting weapons, what you'll start with. And your pickup weapons. And you can see I've unlocked the El Diablo shotgun. I actually got that from one of my free crates that came with my 30 euro or 20 pounds purchase of the game. There's also a store where you can buy platinum, the premium currency. In case you're wondering about the prices, let's have a look. 500 platinum will cost you 499, 1100, 999, 2400, 20 quid, 5000 platinum, 40 quid. I mean, <laughs> if you got the game for free and you decided that everything you need costs 5, 10, 20, or 40 quid. Actually not a bad deal when you consider the big, big AAA games are, are out there at 60 quid. Look at Destiny. You know, 60 for the standard, 70, 80, I think, for the next level deluxe. And I think up to 100 for the best version. So, you know, if you just want to run around in a Quake Arena, these prices are pretty reasonable. I think so. Here's the champions. So I own all of these, so unfortunately I cannot purchase any of them. So let me see if it shows us how much one would cost. So let's say you wanted to purchase Nyx, that would be 800 platinum. And you had you had not purchased the champions edition like me. So let's have a look at how much that's gonna cost you. You need 800 platinum, 500 is the minimum. That's not gonna be enough. 
9.99 so 10 euro about nine pounds sterling i guess but if you got the game for free and you only want to play you know one or two characters that seems pretty reasonable to me that's literally all you have to spend We don't need loot boxes. We don't need cosmetics. They don't make any difference. I think folks were looking at one of the fairest um, free-to-play models out there. I mean, nobody goes into a free-to-play game thinking that, hey, I got a free video game, right? We, we all realize that they want to make money. I think that's, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. These are businesses. So there you go. Champions pack. All champions now and forever. So currently that would be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 champions for 30 euro. Let's get old Mr. Calculator out here. 11 by 800... 8,800 platinum. So would it be cheaper just to buy them? By themselves? Absolutely not. You'd need to purchase this for 40. Plus 8,800. Wow. You would need to... Even if you purchase this, 5,000, and this, you would not have enough. You'd need this as well. So that's... 40, 60, 65, 65 euro to unlock all the champions separately. Of course, of course, that's a pay as you go model. So sometimes people like to get for their mobile phone a bill every month, and sometimes people like to just pay as they go because they know what they're paying and when, and when they're paying. For me, <laughs> come on, I'm going to pay the 30 euro or 20 pounds up front because I'll want those other things I'll want to try them and I think that Bethesda deserve um, deserve, the, deserve the support deserve the money Soon, all what they've done my strength. so that's it it's a preview of Quake Champions Hope you've enjoyed it. Who's back to deal a Hope we will join in again soon. Hope you'll forgive me for being absolutely terrible at it. When the little bones get stuck to uh, worth mentioning before we, f we finish as well as each character does have its own stats. You can see here uh, base, max, so health. 100 of 100. How much damage you can take? Reaching zero health means death. Armor reduces the damage taken to health by two thirds. 100, max 150. Speed, how fast he can move. He or she can move. Um, of course, these two figures here are not affected by items that can push your max health or max armor above the minimum. Also worth mentioning, characters do have abilities. If you look at the ranger, I know a good slipgate to shove you in. The dire orb. So the ranger can throw an orb and then warp to that position. If he warps through somebody, he will do damage. That is an active ability on a cooldown, which you need to activate. Also, a passive ability. Which is always active. Son of a Gun reduces self damage by 25%. Definitely worth checking these out. The, these right here, these are the differences between the Quake you knew and this Quake. So get to know them because they're here to stay. Okay, folks, 
thank you very much for tuning in and I hope to catch you in Quake Champions at some point I love it fully recommend it I'm glad that you can choose as a consumer to like me pay the 30 euro 20 pounds get everything you need or pay nothing and unlock the bits and pieces you want as you go that's how it should be done and bravo Bethesda for leading the get leading the way once again so if you would like to join us in a game of quake champions you can do so at our community we are over at www.bit.ly forward slash good guys gaming that will redirect you to um a google communities page and you can view it without an account but if you want to interact and say hi you'll need a, a gmail or a google account in order to do so that's just to say hi if you want to play games with us you don't need that you can just join discord but you need to go to the community or to goodguysgaming.org in order to be able to start engaging with us whether that's in discord or in games okay folks thank you very much and good night and I will talk to you soon. Take care.